Hello, my name is Max Drake. I'd like to talk to you today about a little tool in Revit that isn't used that often, uh, where it will create images and put them into an HTML file. This is handy to actually um, load up a lot of your information onto, say, a website, so that a lot of people can get access to your information. So this is handy from a point of view of a facilities management. So here we have a 3D drawing, and we've got a whole load of um, uh, plants uh, with information on floor area, ward, walls, and things like that, with the cover detail and some other information that we've got. So what I can do inside Revit is to go in and use the export tool to images and animation and go to images. So here we select some views and we're going to not bother with the views. We're just going to check all of the sheets. So we have all of the sheets collected as the drawing set and we go OK. We are now going to create a browsable website with linked HTML. Price. So we say, yes, please, one of those. And I normally fit it to about 750 pixels. You don't have to, your choice, um, whatever works for you. It then goes through and generates them. Now, um, have you finished doing that? It's done it, right. Now, if we go into the site where it's actually generated them, you'll see there's an index uh, for HTML file. So we're just gonna click on that HTML file and it pulls up that uh, drawing sheet. So if we go into the sheets, um, we've got all of the sheets um, in that format. Now, if we just zoom into this sheet here um, and zoom in, you'll actually see the quality of um, text is very, very poor. But that's fine um, because what I actually do, and I'll give you a demonstration of a site, I just want to point out here on this pi.rsquared.tk pi site here, I actually go through the process of how to do it there. So there's a backstop process showing some of the information of that. Um, if we just go to a site, I actually have the sheet views in here. And if you see, it split the web page into two zones, this zone on the left and that zone on the right. What I also do is I create a set of PDFs so that I can actually pick a particular one and let's just go for the room door schedules because the interesting thing about the room door schedules if we just go to download that now and we just open it um, just get on and open up um, you'll see because it's a PDF now um, you get um, the text as clear as what you want so what this does is it's able for you to quickly scan through the images because the image sizes are very small and you can then choose the document that you actually need and you're suddenly saying well which room is it ah oh, that's the room that i wanted this one's actually just got plans and stuff so it's not that but if you actually had lots of different rooms you could choose which room you wanted and then download that specific drawing so that one like that floor plan if we just go to floor plan oh Let's floor plan. I just clicked on that again. Floor plan there. We go to the PDFs and we just say download me floor plan. And then we could do that. Um, so if we look back at the original document there on that index file, it's a bit sneaky this, um, is that what you actually do is you'll find that it just goes and looks for another file called bookmarks. So we'll just, it doesn't actually do that much in that file there. So if we go into the index files, here's the index sheet showing all of the images. They're not that big, but there's one called um, index bookmarks. That's what it's decided to call it here. And if you go into there, there it has all of the targets. So it's writing out for each of those images, a little index sheet well, an HTML file, HTML file that just says open this sheet up on the second half of the page, on the right hand side of the page. So what I actually do is once you actually have these files, so you actually have um, the uh, HTML file and you have this subdirectory with those images, is that I go through and I put them onto my web page. And so here I am there. I have actually got a tutorial on how to make a free website. And I create um, a directory called 
let's see if I've got it here. I've got a directory called 3D Home. So this is where on that particular website, um, uh, this one here is a, a free website with a free domain in a subdirectory called my 3 d home 001 I've got my 3D PDF stored. Um, I've got um, my oh, blast. Um, uh, so on the Astra, we go down into that one again. What a nuisance! And we go to my 3D PDF and it's gone past one. So I make a directory there, and then inside here I have all these subdirectories. So the images are where the images are stored, and then I have panoramas, I have a maintenance schedule, I have my 2D PDFs where I've actually just got them shown down there. So if I just go back up one level, and if I go into the images, there's the image files there. Now the one that I actually alter is the um, uh, bookmarks one and I go into there and as you can see I've got the standard thing happening here I think I get rid of their logo and then I do links further down the page and all I'm doing is I'm linking to the maintenance schedule with an href and I link to the 3D PDF view so if I come back to here uh, if I go into here I've got my sheets and then I've got my links to the PD, 3D PDF maintenance kitchen living room and my videos through here and if I click on my PDF there and I go into floor plan there it will then just download or it's now going to make that viewable and if I go into here and go download I can open up that 3D uh, sorry that um, floor plan don't know why it's asked me all of these things and then it's um uh, so i've only downloaded that specific plan and you see i've got very clear documentation and information all of it is very very clear so what this gives you in conclusion is a very simple um uh, index page which you link to and then you can actually create more subdirectories with your drawings but you have an overall image plan that you can go to very very quickly and just preview whatever information you particularly want. Um, I have another demonstration later on where I, um, uh, so the maintenance checklist, you can't read anything off that, but you can if you download the actual maintenance che 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 checklist itself. Um, I hope this has been of interest to you. Um, uh, thank you very much for watching.